Hello everyone and welcome to Whispering Wind Psychic Cowgirl. My name is Reverend Melissa Kennedy and I'm just hopping on here real quick today. Um, every day in my work as a professional psychic, I have the pleasure of checking in with the frequency and vibration of the planet, the energy on it in the human collective. And today's energy was all about healing. I even woke up this morning and I have COVID in my family and some people have COVID. So I'm like, I'm going to do a sound bath. So I did a complete chakra sound bath and I started my day with that. And I remember thinking after I got done with the sound bath, wow, I feel great. I feel like my crown chakra is especially open today, open to receive blessings and light and guidance and messages of all kinds. So I went and I meditated before I started work and the calls started coming in and one by one when the calls came in I was blown away. The first caller was calling to tell me how much that I had helped her in her life throughout these past few months that she found about me. It's actually been about six months with this particular person and how much um my guidance and my knowings, my psychic abilities, my awarenesses of my intuitive gifts and my connection to divine source, to God, to creator, helped her along her way, along her journey. And so um, in, in all of this work, it's always healing. That's the only reason I do it. Um, of course, we all have to eat. We all need money to live in this paradigm, in this world that we're living in today. You know, an emphasis is on money because we need it to live. But I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that I would do this work, helping others, being of service. And I have for many years now done it for no money at all. Um, so I love it that much. And today was just one of those days where call after call, the connections were incredible. And it was about healing. And I had two people actually break down in tears during their reading. And and I, and I knew, I was like, I know that you are not prone to crying. I said, I'm a healer. This is part of your healing process. We are in a sacred space. We have created a safe space, a sacred space for you to move through these emotions, these feelings, all of these things that you're experiencing right now in your life and know that you are okay. So if you need to let it out, go ahead. I am sending you more healing and clearing. As we speak, I'm being guided so you can you can trust in the guidance and the words that I'm speaking over you right now are truth. And it was interesting. So after I did my sound bath this morning, I, I got this card, Hilarion, which to me is kind of like an archetype of um, a living, breathing human archetype of Archangel Raphael. Whenever I get Hilarion, I know that... Um, I am being called to heal. I know that my my work is in service and I'm to heal the people that are put into my path. I open up to the divine guidance. It's not me. People will always tell me, oh, you're incredible. I can't believe, you know, and all this and that. And I just listen and I thank them and I am, compl I am in complete gratitude and thanksgiving and I am just so blessed. And I say, I always have to tell them that yes, I am merely the conduit. I am the channel. I am the one open to receive the messages. So the messages come through me out through another human being in this world. And I speak them over you. And it brings me into what what the world feels like right now for me. I was I was brought up Catholic and I, you know, we went to church and we did Sunday school, all that stuff. And I went through all of the rites and the rituals of this religion of of this institution if you will and um i've since left the structure of um organized religion and i am now very spiritual do i believe in jesus oh you know i do do i believe in god you bet you i do do i believe in the great i am yes i do do I believe that the universe has a power greater than all of us combined that is intelligent, that knows things, that that already 
knows and has those things that we can only dream about already in line, in an, in, in alignment for us. If we just co-create and allow things to fall into our lives um, in divine timing. And so that's what um, this card was reminding me. And the message on the card says, honor your sensitivity, retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. And, and not only was I sitting there in service to help others, but the first woman that called me actually called me back a couple of hours later just to tell me that she had connected more dots because of some guidance I had given her probably five months ago. And she said, I didn't know what you meant at the time, but now I do. It makes perfect sense as to what I'm going going through right now in my life. And I just want to thank you. And she was saying, God bless you. Thank you so much for what you do. I can't thank you enough. And I was like, no, no, thank you for blessing my life um, and, and for giving me the outward confirmation and affirmations that maybe my spirit, maybe my soul, maybe my journey needed today. And that's exactly what I got. And I, I just felt so good with each and every call and the connections were just spectacular. So um, I, I just want you to think about all of the people in your life and all the people that you're blessed to have in your life and what they mean to you. And sometimes these, these words, these affirmations, these confirmations that we are special comes to us through other people and not just in church. I look at, I look at this planet as a big church and individually we hold the church within us, whatever that is, we are the church. And I always say we are the church and my life is a prayer. So every day I feel like I am living my, my true calling, my passion, my soul journey is aligned with, um, everything that I knew that I came here to be, my life mission. And I hope that you use my words, use what I say, and use them to heal, to know that you are special, you are ma you do matter. And even on the days when you feel the lowest, trust me, there's somebody thinking about you. Thinking about you in such a beautiful way that you, you may not even know that you touch that person's life in the way that you have, but know that you are special and that you have a mission here and only you can fulfill and complete your mission. There's nobody else that was chosen for it. It's yours. So walk in your truth, walk with conviction. I ask you to release all negative thought patterns, all negative speak in your mind, maybe that comes in that you say to yourself and ask God, creator, divine, the universe, whatever word resonates for you to align you with how they see you, with how the universe sees you, with how the universe created you to be, and then just watch the people enter into your life one by one to prove to you, to show you that your existence matters. And, um, I was going to play my 528 HZ singing bowl to just kind of get us all on the same frequency. And as I do this, I just want you to focus on releasing any stuck energy or anything that you may perceive in your life right now as being stuck. Because we are never really stuck. All we have to do is decide to just keep moving forward, to just decide to be happy, to just decide to see the rainbow you know, to understand that the rainbow will come after the storm, to understand that things happen to us. Yes, they do. Is everything pleasant? No, it isn't. But if we didn't have some storms, we could never experience the rainbows. And even the storms in our lives, if we didn't experience turbulence with the relationships or people in our lives or the circumstances, our jobs, all of those things, we would never truly be who we were sent here to be. It would be pretty boring if we just sat around and just said, I'm so awesome, I'm so cool. It's all so zen. Um, maybe that's where we're heading, but we still have some clearing and healing to do. So let's get in the same 
wavelength, the same frequency. Here we go. That feels amazing. Thank you for watching. And if my words helped you today, if you felt the energy, if you felt the sentiment, if anything that I said to you resonated and it might help someone else you know, please like and share this video. Together, we change the world. One by one, we lighten the load for each other and together we will be healed. Until next time, Reverend Melissa Kennedy signing off. Bye-bye now.